Okay, this video is an open letter to internal medicine doctors and pulmonology doctors, the lung doctors, ICU doctors, sleep specialists. And <clears throat> what I'm saying here is that everything in the body functions better with good blood flow. And doctors, I've never met one that knows much about how to improve blood flow. It's pretty simple. You just reduce dietary fat, you reduce dietary sodium. Fat is bad because it sticks all the red blood cells together. Sodium is bad because it's a vasoconstrictor. Not that complicated. And you also got to give the patients adequate fiber so they don't get leaky gut. Because with leaky gut, they get postprandial endotoxemia, LPS from the gram-negative bacteria, LTA from the gram-positive bacteria, and that leads to amyloidogenic uh, transformation of fibrinogen so instead of being alpha helix like a slinky, it becomes beta pleated sheet and it precipitates out of solution, leading to a type of clots that are refractory to lysis called dense matted deposits. So anyways, I know you didn't learn any of this in med school. I know you didn't learn this in residency or fellowship either. Nobody does. I've never in my life met a medical student or a doctor who knows what the zeta potential is, which is pretty basic. Okay, the first thing you should know is that atherosclerosis is a blood clot. I did a, fellow, I did a fellowship at Harvard with the emphasis on vascular disease, and we did not learn this. I learned all this stuff later uh, when I became more concerned about atherosclerosis when my father had coronary artery disease, and I started to read about it on my own outside of conventional literature. So I got a little bit of bad news for you, but I got good news for you too. So the bad news is all of your medical textbooks are a joke. I'm sorry, but your Cecil's internal medicine, it's a joke. Your Harrison's internal medicine, it's a joke. Your Robin's Kutran Komar uh, pathology textbook, it's a joke. I say that with 100% confidence, okay? And the good news is it's easy to learn what you need to know. The, the three things you don't know, you don't know nutrition, you don't know epidemiology, you don't know toxicology. Once you learn that, you'll see that low fat, low sodium, 100% whole food vegan diet with no oil is what makes people healthy. It's the only type of diet shown to reverse coronary artery disease. And it also reverses almost all type 2 diabetes, especially if it's caught within the first four years. Uh, <clears throat> prevents hypertension, you know, most of the time, almost always. Okay, and anyways... You get a lot of these people, here's, here's a hemoglobin oxygen dissociation curve, and you can see people spend a lot of time, you know, up in here, normal, let's say you got a PO2 of 80 and up, but eating a high-fat meal can drop the PO2 right here, as this, this slide indicates, by 20%, 15 to 20%. And when you drop 15 to 20%, not a big deal if you're up high on the curve because it's a sigmoidal shaped curve. But a lot of people are just barely hanging on to the upper flat part of the curve and they drop real quick into the rapid descent. Um, so <clears throat> what I'm saying is they could dramatically improve their health by knowing this and they don't know this. You know, the typical old patient is fat, sick, and stupid and they eat high fat diet with a lot of sodium, okay, and they got a plenty of other bad habits too. So you could dramatically help these patients. I'm sorry, but you can't be a great doctor if you don't know this, okay? You could be above average a little bit, okay? But you can't be really good. How could you be really good at your field if you don't know what causes the most common diseases, if you don't know how to help the poor patient, okay? You've been trained in the learned helplessness that all these diseases are, you know, idiopathic and that there's no known cause. But as a matter of fact, there actually is a known problem. It's primarily from this diet, also some toxins in the food. And so I got a, all this I've got in lectures for free. I got my book here the medical reformation which explains all this stuff this is the best medical book i've rewritten all your stupid textbooks okay so anyways you should know this and there's a couple of persons whose papers you should read you should know about peter quo the cardiologist in the 1950s in pennsylvania who figured out a lot of this stuff meyer with especially working with sat fat meyer freeman and ray rosamond uh, figured it out in more detail and worked in addition with vegetable oils and so did Roy Swank, working with vegetable oils and, and uh, saturated fat. And then Douglas Kell later came along with Etheresia Pretorius and figured out all this amyloidogenic clotting stuff. So here's one paper to get you started, you know, the circulation paper from 1964 by Meyer Friedman. And that was done with his colleague Ray Rosenman. And they were also studying, you know, A-type personalities and whatnot. So anyways... Um, this is where it's at. You can dramatically improve your skill at helping patients uh, with just some pretty simple stuff here. So uh, I'll have, I'm, I just posted a video on endothelial glycocalyx and the pathophysiology of that. If you just search my YouTube channel for blood flow, endothelial glycocalyx, um, amyloid clotting, Douglas Cal, these names up here, you'll find all this stuff pretty quick. And atherosclerosis, uh, Gregory Sloop, he's a great pioneer, atherosclerosis researcher and whatnot. It's all right here. You can learn it real easy. You could just, you know, dedicate a week of your time in the evening while you're eating dinner to watching these videos. And you'll be amazed at how much more you understand disease and how much more you can help your patients. So I uh, hope that helps you.